This is my kindergarten classroom. From going to class here to having his own class. Peter Stan loves Sacred Heart Catholic Academy of Glendale so much, he's now a teacher. Keeping former students close, one of the reasons the school won big in the Best of the Borough Awards. For people to vote this much and to keep bringing their kids here, it's really a cool thing to say. A trifecta win. For the third year in a row, they were voted the best Catholic school in Queens. The competition is put together by Schneps Media. The Beth Page Best of the Borough is really a program that's all about the opinions of the public. You know, we have hundreds of thousands of votes that come through each year. So, you know, to win is, is a major accomplishment. The award voted on by the community, and the school has a strong one. Parent Christopher Russo explains. We have an amazing set of teachers and administrators here. Uh, we're backed by a very strong parent base. We also have a good parish and community of Glendale that loves our school. And we have an alumni of 80 plus years that backs our school. The third win is a big deal. Board Chairman Fred Haller says they had big competition. We have strong schools, strong Catholic um, high schools in Queens and strong grammar schools. And we're, you know, among the smallest of, of, of the in the entire borough. It was also a tumultuous year for all New York City schools, forced to adapt and adjust because of the pandemic. In one day, an entire faculty that maybe used some technology sometimes really adjusted, knocked out of the park. The school survived and thrived. Enrollment grew this year, but most importantly, students and parents are happy. And I always look forward to coming here every single day. I mean, I couldn't have asked for a better education. I think it's just the environment. It's so warm. It's like my second family. Now they're enjoying the big win. Faculty tells me the recognition brings in more students and even gets their current students noticed by better high schools and colleges. So the only question left to ask, will they be able to make it four years in a row? I guess we'll find out. In Glendale, Emily Druby, Currents News. If you're watching Currents News on YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe button and click on the bell to get updates to all of our newest content because we are putting your faith in the news.